I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We're discussing derivatives of logarithmic and exponential functions. We're actually solving a test paper of an IB student. Here is the very last question where we'll figure out what is the maximum, minimum, and the inflection points. I haven't drawn the graph for the function, so uh, the rest of the question is kind of like this. Given the function f of x equals to e to the power of x sine x for x belongs to minus pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, determine the x coordinates of all x prima and b is the x coordinates of points of inflection. So to find the extrema points, we will do the first derivative equated to 0 and for this point of inflection, we will equate the second derivative to 0. So the function given to us is f of x equals to e to the power of x sine of x. We are working in a closed domain minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. So derivative will be product rules, right? So we get e to the power of x sine x plus e to the power of x derivative will be cos x. For critical number, this should be equal to 0 and that is, we'll take e to the power of x common and we have sine x plus cos x. And clearly, e to the power of x will not give you any root, but sine x plus cos x will give you a solution. And uh, that gives you sine x equals to minus cos x, or we can say tan x equals to minus 1 when you divide by cos x. Now we are working in the domain which is minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, right? So, so the domain for us is minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, right? So, so 1 pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, and uh, 3 pi by 2, okay? So it's kind of full circle. Now, cos x is negative when we're talking about these two values. Uh, we are talking about these coordinates, correct? So those will give you the negative tan value of minus 1. And so we get two solutions. One is minus pi by 4, right? And the other one is... Uh, uh, we have 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. So that means we have two solutions, which is x equals to minus pi by 4, and we have x equals to 3 pi by 4. So those are the two uh, x coordinates for part A. So that is how we could do part A. Now let's look into part B. We need to find the second derivative now. So we'll begin from here. Find the second derivative. So in this case, uh, f double dash x is equal to e to the power of x times this function. Plus derivative of this, right? e to the power of x times this derivative, which is... Uh, uh, cos x minus sin x. So combining what we get here is e to the power of x and uh, we have sin x minus sin x will cancel and uh, we have 2 cos x. Right, so we get 2 e to the power of x cos x. Now, that could be equal to 0 for point of inflection. e to the power of x can never be 0, but cos x can be 0, right? So we'll see when is cos x equal to 0. As you know, the cosine function is kind of like this, right? We're talking about minus uh, 
pi by 2 so we'll go like this minus pi by 2 so that minus pi by 2 is the first zero and plus pi by 2 will be the second zero all right so we have uh, rather plus and minus pi by 2 and then we have a zero here which is 3 pi by 2 right so we we get three zeros for this so we get x equals to minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so at these three points we, we can get actually the the point of inflection so with this we come to an end of this solution we get part a which is x coordinates of extremas as minus pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4 and b is points of inflection inflection at x equals to plus minus pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 perfect so that is how we can actually solve this particular question I hope that helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.